Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the founder of i30 Media Corp, which publishes Easy Genie genealogy forms. Today I'm going to be talking about a type of genealogy form known as a family group sheet, also known as a family record sheet. And this is the form that we publish here at i30 Media. Um, it's a large print family group sheet, and you can see that there's two sides to it. And it's basically based around a family. You have the husband, the wife, uh, children, parents, spouses, and lots of information about each one of those persons. And on a single fa on a single sided family group sheet, which you might download from the internet, um, you might be able to get one with eight children. But the ones that we publish, uh, the large print one has seventeen children, and the normal sized one has twenty four children. And there's quite a bit of information that you can include about uh, such families. And you may be wondering, well, why do you need so many children uh, for a family group sheet? And the answer is, a long time ago, families really had huge, huge uh, numbers of children. And it was not uncommon for a family to have uh, 10 or more uh, kids. So the forms we make have everybody there. Here's an example of a group sheet that we filled out, that I filled out. Um, and you can see I've put the husband's full name at the top. You always start with a couple. So it's usually husband and wife. Um, sometimes you might need two family group sheets if you if somebody remarried or there's some other special situation. And then you put in a date. So birth, marriage, uh, death, uh, burial, if you have that information available. And then the locations where they took place. And then you put in information like father's full name, mother's full name. And you go through and do the same for the wife. And then for the children, you don't have as much detail to put in, but you can you put in the basics. So that is the names of the kids, um, uh, when, when, and when they died, when they were born, and their spouses' names, and um, it's okay to leave out information or put it, leave blank lines if you don't know something. Uh, so, for instance, for this person, I knew that uh, they'd lived in Canton, New York, but I didn't know when that took place, so I left that that particular cell blank. So filling out a group sheet, where, where might you get this information? Well, the obvious place is to start talking with relatives, especially older relatives who might remember all the relationships or know some of these details. And then you can, uh, for instance, you can bring out some photos or some documents, talk about them, or just see maybe there's some annotations on the back of the photos that can help out. Family letters can be helpful. And then, of course, you can use the online sources, Ancestry and Family Search, which are very popular. Vital records, which are typically birth records, death records, marriage records, official government records, which usually have pretty good information on them. Uh, there's other types of records too. Religious records, which might be from a church or a temple. Gravestones can be great if you can find them and also you can read the information on them. Newspapers are excellent sources of information and sometimes have stories which you may not even know about, uh, but also details. So for instance, for one of my grandparents, uh, I found out the details of his uh, grandfather's, this would be my great-great-grandfather's, uh, when, when he died, and some information about where he was born. So that was very, very helpful for filling out a, a family group sheet. And then uh, census returns are another great source of information if the area where you live has them, uh, either on a federal level or maybe a state or provincial level. Sometimes cities had censuses as well. So there's all kinds of information that you can use to fill out a group sheet. For more information about family group sheets, and also to see the family group sheets that we offer at Easy Genie, go to easygenie.org. And we also have some free downloads, which you can print out on your computer. Thanks so much for watching.